and good to see you all from this week's tip of the week from Home Built Health. This week we find ourselves underneath a wing and the customer of this wing has been complaining that there's been a fuel seepage somewhere from the fuel tank obviously inside of the wing. The first thing we want to check are the fuel connections to the fuel tank inside but all we have is this small access panel we've removed the panel we have a small hole and we can kind of get up there with a flashlight and a little mirror and peer around but it's really difficult to see the fuel connection the hose where it goes to the tank and check in some of those obvious places to see if there's any fuel leakage maybe the clamp is loose or something like that so what we need is a tool that will make it nice and easy for us to peer around in here and see things that we just can't see through this little hole. Well, you're going to like this new tool. Let's take a look. And here is our new tool. This is a low-cost, high-tech endoscope, or some people call it a boroscope. What it is is a camera. That's a camera in this very small end here and we're going to view the camera on your portable display device. Could be an Android, could be an Apple. But we can insert this endoscope almost anywhere it will fit and get an image of what we're looking at. Now the connection to our phone is through the Wi-Fi. That's what this box is. So when we turn this box on, it powers the camera and sends the signal to our portable device. This also has LEDs in it. So in other words, when you place it into a very dark area, it can light up that area to assist the camera. And that is a variable brightness LED there. What's super incredible is that this whole package was about $35. There are some that are more expensive. There are some that are less expensive. The less expensive ones would hook directly to your smartphone. This one has the Wi-Fi, so it can go to multiple computers or smartphones all at the same time, so a whole bunch of people can watch. And there's an app with it so we can record the video that we take. So simple to use. This also comes with a mirror so that we can view 90 degrees to it. Without the mirror, it aims straight ahead. Let's go look at some typical applications of this in our home-built aircraft and why this inexpensive tool can be invaluable for helping us diagnose problems, looking for loose parts, and of course, these have been used for inspecting the internals of engines for years and years. But now they're so affordable, we can all own one and use it for a whole myriad of purposes. Okay, I've got my endoscope and I got my phone. I'm just going to go ahead and start peering around inside. Let's take a look. Looking at the screen of our smartphone, we can see things we normally could never see, like the connection right up to the fuel tank and confirm that it's not leaking and that the hose clamp is in place and that the hoses look like they're in good condition. With great clarity, we can see all of this and of course the light from the camera is helping us do this. Here is the flange of the fuel gauge sender which is attached to the side of the fuel tank and we can also confirm that it is not leaking and that our electrical connections are tight. We find ourselves on top of the wing. Have you ever wondered what your float looks like in your gas tank that's sending the signal to your fuel gauge? Well, let's take a look. I'm going to take the gas cap out and with our trusty endoscope, I'm going to peer down the entrance there and see 
if we can see the float. Now I've drained some of the gas out, so I don't want to put the camera in the gas itself. But this way we can see how the float is actually resting in the fuel level. Let's take a look. We now have a tool that lets us inspect the innards of our fuel tank. I'm shaking the wing to try and get the float to move. The float is sitting on the bottom of the tank, showing us that we do have usable fuel left even when the fuel gauge says nothing is left. But what a great way to see where no human eye has probably ever seen before for a inside fuel tank inspection. We're at the rear of the aircraft now, and not every home built has an inspection panel exactly where you would like to have it. Something that's very useful for our camera is to take a look at some of the control cables and pulleys in areas that are rather hard to get to without taking things apart. For example, I'm going to take a look right in here. And here we see our control cable and pulley and noting that everything looks okay. What a great way to see inside of really dark places. Another location that would be real useful to look at sometimes is underneath your instrument panel to look at the wires and connections without having to get your head way up under that. So with the camera, we can simply put that behind the panel and take a look. What a great way not to break your neck getting underneath to look at all sorts of things that are just so easy to look at now with a camera like this. And it goes without saying that endoscopes are extremely useful when working on your aircraft engine. Traditionally, it has been for examining the cylinders and the valves, but also working outside of the engine in very tight places between the firewall and the engine where you just can't see connections and fittings. And now you have a tool much greater than an inspection mirror and flashlight and the like. You will find many uses for this tool and it will save you a lot of time and a lot of frustration now that you have eyes in places you never thought you had before. And of course, everyone's going to want to borrow this, so don't broad broadcast it too loud that you got one of these. Now, we're not revealing the product number of the endoscope we use because this is not a product evaluation. Rather, it's an encouragement for you to use this technology when building and maintaining your aircraft. You need to go and determine what type of endoscope best suits you. I can point out a few features. For example, the size of the camera might make a difference. The smaller this is, the smaller the areas you'll be able to uh, access. The stiffness of the cable. Notice that this is not floppy. It has some stiffness to it so you can angle it into positions as you guide it through areas. And also notice the length of coil. We probably got five feet here that you could theoretically uh, snake this through all sorts of long distances. How do you want your camera to communicate with your smartphone? This model uses Wi-Fi, so you need to connect by Wi-Fi to get the images. Other models have a connector that matches whatever type of smartphone you have, so you need to shop for those carefully. But they're a little less expensive without the Wi-Fi and the direct connection to your smartphone. Of course, only one person can watch the pictures at a time. With the Wi-Fi, anyone that connects can watch the pictures. And as I mentioned, it's nice to have LED lights inside so that you can light up dark areas as you sneak this through and get a, a better picture. And it's simple to find out where to buy one. Just go, if you have no other suggestions or ideas, go to Amazon.com and type in 
endoscope into the search box. There will be lots of them for sale at all different price points with different features. It depends what type of smartphone you have and what type of features you want. And of course, I suggest you choose one that has very good customer reviews. That's one way to kind of shop and choose one. Now, everyone, back to building, because I know once you get one of these cameras, there's going to be a lot of screwing around 